I cannot believe your show. It aired yesterday on Peacock, and I know new episodes are going to be airing on USA Network. Um, is it is it exciting now that everyone gets to see what you've been working on? Yeah, it's exciting. It's nerve wracking. I'm really hoping all of America gets to see, you know, how we are as a family, how we work together, the good times and the bad. We laid it all out there for the world to see, and with that comes a little bit of nervousness. Absolutely, and I did get to see the first episode, and it's interesting because growing up a city girl, you really see everything that goes down on a farm that I feel like people don't know about. So, what was that like bringing in the cameras and、uh, getting everybody to see what really goes down behind the scenes? Yeah, well, for us, that's just everyday life. That's、okay. you know day to day operations that we're used to.、Uh, so I think that was kind of cool for us was to be able to explain what we do and why it's so important, and to to people that maybe don't know、uh, what what happens on an actual farming、uh, ranch operation. It was cool for us to explain that to them、uh, to showcase the, you know that aspect of of our business. Yeah, yeah, but is it kind of like nerve wracking though, knowing that there are always cameras? Like you don't know what's gonna come out. Like, do do you watch yourself sometimes? You're like, oh, maybe I should say it, maybe I shouldn't.、Uh, I know during filming we went into it saying, hey, we're going to give it everything we've got and let the audience see us for who we are as real people. And being real people, we're definitely going to have some regrettable moments、uh, on the episodes. I know for a fact I haven't watched the last half of the season because I'm like. I don't want to know. Like I'll find out through the audience. I don't want to know what I said or did. Just, just if I don't see it, it didn't happen. That's、yeah. how I'm playing it. <laughs> I see why some people don't like to go back and like watch shows that they've been in because it just gives you way too much anxiety.、You're、like, man, do I really sound like that? Or did I say that? That was about as dumb as could be. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you guys like have a watch party? Is it still kind of cringy? Like when when you watch it back. Yes, it is still cringy,、yep. and、Absolutely. yes, we did have a watch party with everyone. We watched the first few episodes, and、um, tensions were fairly high during the watch party. We had everyone from the cast, including all of the women there present, and、uh, we only made it through about three episodes. And we were like, "Let's shut it down. <laughs> we're going to、um, end it for the emotions、night. <laughs> are pretty high right now. Let's just、uh, cool it off the rest of the night." Yeah, I was gonna say like it does kind of go into your personal lives and your dating lives.、Um, what is that like for you? And maybe is there anything that you could tease of what's coming up for the rest of the season? Yeah, so for me personally, that was really hard because I am、uh, not a very outgoing person. I I don't wear my emotions on my sleeves, and I don't、okay. really. I'm pretty low key. I don't like talking about any of my my personal problems or relationships. So that was eye opening for me,、uh, and probably one of the harder things about this entire show was. You know, really opening up, telling、uh, the audience exactly how I feel and how it is.、Uh, it was probably easier for Stephen because he was on a、uh, dating show, so he's probably、yes. used to that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I was gonna say, like, I did watch Joe Millionaire, so when I saw like the trailers, I was like, wait a minute, like, I know that guy, I've seen him before, and it's so nice to see that you're still with Kala. Yeah, it's and it's interesting on this new show because Cal and I ended up with each other off of Joe Millionaire, but we certainly had our ups and downs, and we、oh. were actually on a break right before this show started filming. So, as the cameras started rolling, her and I were just getting back together, and you get to watch all of that play out in real time. Like literally, us getting back together is featured on these、uh, episodes. That is crazy. Now I know family is a big,、um, big storyline for you guys with this season, and there is a lot on the line. You know, making this business a, a billion-dollar business.、Um, how did you really stick together and get to your end goal? I think family, even before this show, has always been our biggest thing.、Um, we've worked together for a lot of years, basically our entire life growing up,、um, and it's something that. We realize is the most important thing beside the money, beside whatever comes from this show. That at the end of the day, we'll always have our family, we'll always have our brothers to go to and talk to and kind of rely on if we're ever to,、uh, you know, have any problems. So, I think and I hope that the audience realizes that that is about as real and authentic as as it can get. That we really are a, a family. We love each other. We come together. We have our fights just like any family does, especially working together. Uh, but we always come together at the end of the day. I love that. Is there maybe something that you learned about yourselves, or maybe even each other, that you didn't know just by、um, going through this filming process? 
Yeah, Cole and Jesse like to call me Mr. Spreadsheet. So I hope in watching these That's episodes true. back, they have a little bit more respect for what takes place in the office and vice versa. I have a little bit more respect for them working out in the fields every single day. They come in with their clothes covered in dirt and uh, I'm usually making fun of them saying, you just roll around at the end of the day to make it look like you're working hard. I have a little bit more respect for them now, I have to admit. Okay, okay. Now, um, <laughs> if you guys were to get a season two, what would you hope like that fans could see um, throughout your lives? I guess kind of just the continuation of, of where we're at in life, our relationships, kind of how we fought through all the problems and issues that we had in season one and how we were able to come out of that um, and kind of where our businesses are at um, with everything at stake. Uh, we literally bet the farm uh, yeah. on <laughs> during this season. That's just not a phrase for us. It's, it's real life. So we're, you know, a year past, uh, you know, when we filmed it. So being able to see where we're at in life uh, and all the uh, all the new problems, uh, mostly from my dad, that, that yeah. the audience would get to see. And we didn't just have, it's not just a fairy tale ending where at the end of season one, all of our businesses are perfect, our relationships are perfect. Like Jesse said, this is a continuation and we're still in these startup modes. We're still working every single day, still trying to survive and make these, these businesses work. Totally. So there's a lot. There's a lot to cover if you guys were there's to come. There's a lot to Always. come back to yes. season two. <laughs> I love that. Now we are celeb secrets. So any like behind the scenes secrets when you guys were filming that we wouldn't know just by watching. I feel like there are a ton of deleted scenes, maybe funny moments. Oh, let's see here. Man, I'm trying to think of something. Um, Man, we honestly put everything out there on camera. Like we didn't have any off camera conversations. Uh, like I said, Kala and I had our ups and downs even throughout the season. And I think you'll see a Nashville trip that exemplifies that. Um, and I may have had some regrettable actions during that trip. Uh, but yeah. I just thought of one actually. <laughs> oh, no. uh, okay. our episode, I think I want to say it's episode three and, and four when we're down in Fort Worth. Cole and I, before we go to the bar, we actually, and it's not caught on camera, we actually got into a full on fight that my dad had to break up. We were both way oh, too yeah. drunk. Yeah, they, drunk. they both got too drunk too early and they were about to fist fight outside of a rodeo in Fort Worth and the cameras had just left to go set up at the next spot. Uh -huh. And that was literally like my dad like physically forcing them apart to keep them from fighting. So when we go to the bar, we take a shot. That was our makeup shot. It's like, all right, we're good. Let's move on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. that. That's such a great story. I love it. 